So we finally hit 2 to the power of 10 subscribers. Thank you so much for being a part of that. As custom demands, here's a little bonus video, in which I'll show some forthcoming projects. This one comes in a huge flight case, that is actually heavier than the device inside. It also has a suitcase full of accessories. I've shown it before, briefly, but I haven't had the courage to do anything with it. It's a piece for a museum, really. But now I have all the source codes in Z80 assembler. And specifications for the RS-232 communication. So I think it would be a great non-intrusive project to make a new PC software for this. It's a DK Synergy 2. One of the first digital synthesizers ever. And until now it has to be programmed with a computer such as this one. The good old 2.5 MHz K-Pro 2. Andrew K, the CEO of K-Pro, also invented the digital multimeter by the way. But something isn't working at the moment. So, as I said, future video. Then I've been thinking about better ways of transportation lately. There's got to be a better solution. Maybe I can attach this fancy 1300 watt brushless motor to something. In fact, I've already started working on this, but got distracted by other projects. Other projects like an ancient drum machine. or a ferrofluid clock display I wanted to make out of CNC machined acrylic. I have to put this in the fridge for a couple of hours to get rid of the bubbles. Let's try to not put that in anyone's veins accidentally. The biggest problem I had with that was that ferrofluid likes to stick to acrylic much more than water does. In those tiny ferrofluid in a jar toys, some sort of ethanol is used as a transparent liquid. And that seems to work great for them but I can't store ethanol in acrylic. And practically I can't CNC machine glass. So that project is on hold until I discover some sort of oil repelling surface coating for the acrylic.
Generally, I'm always looking for opportunities to use some of these great parts that I've collected in several lab liquidations. Like these high current power supplies, for example. I could imagine them becoming inductive heaters at some point. And the big thyristors, of course. I don't know yet. Railguns are illegal here, sadly. Can't forget about the inflatable salad bowl, of course. This PID temperature controller will become a reflow oven, I think. Oh look, more unused parts. This drawer contains a couple of $60 ICs. This one doesn't, only $12 ICs. I think the previous owner was a fan of commercial samples. I'm a fan of power LEDs. Yeah, I'm just bragging at this point, but come on, there's one more. Well, there's so much more and this is only the 1024 subscriber special. I'll show you the rest when I have 1,048,576 subscribers. Alright, see you then.